Guys, no matter what industry you're in or what kind of business you have, if you're sending emails to customers, you probably want to get more replies. Well, the fact is that people are getting bombarded with emails every day. And even though you might think yours are just another message in the mix, it's actually really important for you to stand out from the crowd and make sure that your emails are getting open. So once again, I'm here to help you with that. Yo, what's up guys? It is your friendly neighborhood, SDR Bobby J. Costin, and it might be obvious, but you can't just send out a bunch of emails and expect people to reply. You need to be strategic about your approach if you want a higher response rate. So today, I'm gonna show you three things that'll help you get more responses from your email marketing campaigns. So let's start with number one, segment your audience. Segmenting your audience means that you divide them into a smaller group based on something they have in common. You can do this by age, location, interest, or anything else that makes sense for your business. Once you've done that, you can create content for each group. Content that's specifically tailored to their needs and interests. Then you'll be able to reach out to them with more relevant information and offers than you would if you were sending out just one big email at once. Next is number two, personalize the email. Personalizing your emails makes them more likely to be read by the recipient because they feel like they're getting something that's just for them. After all, who wants an email that looks like it's meant for everyone when they specifically ask for something different? And personalization doesn't have to be hard or time consuming either. I mean, you can use tools which let you easily customize your message based on what you know about each person. So guys, it is very important because when we feel like someone has noticed us as an individual and cares about us as an individual, we feel more connected to them. We feel like they understand us better than other companies do. And so we're more likely to respond to their message with action, like buying something or signing up for their newsletter. So next time you want someone's attention, make sure they know it by personalizing your message. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but make sure you like and subscribe because this is good info, right? So do it, please. Thank you. Lastly, number three. Ask questions. When someone opens your email, they're probably looking for something specific. So ask them. You can ask them if they found what they're looking for and if they'd like to see more of this type of content in the future, if they'd like more information on a particular topic, whatever it is that'll help you improve your marketing efforts. And you wanna make sure you're asking questions that are relevant so that way you can really engage the recipient with what they want. Because if you ask questions like, how can I help you? Or what do you need? that's gonna make them feel valued and they're gonna to wanna to respond and give you feedback. When you ask questions in your emails, it creates a dialogue between you and the recipient. And people love talking, and this adds to the personalization that we just talked about. Now I feel confident that your reply rates will surprise everyone on your team. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments, subscribe, and leave us a like if you found this video helpful. Help me help you. And of course, remember, it's not sales. It's science. And that never gets old, huh? I bet it doesn't. See you guys later.